back in Prague for the final skaters somewhat fittingly from Russia Evgenia Shushkova Vadim Naumov surely another Russian team won't break their hearts now but in second place and they can win gold if they win the free skate here The gold medal has been awarded. These skaters have to come out here and take it away. It's been awarded now. I think it's about a done deal. triple twist but not nearly in the league of Isabel and Lloyds. the same way as you aside from the difficulty they had with the miss on the side-by-side -side triple toe early in the program it was okay but I felt like they were not nearly as together as Isabel and Lloyd were Isabel and Lloyd were so tight out there 
And this team never seemed to have that. Here we see the mistake off the top on the side-by-side -side triple toe. He, has, he lands at one foot, but has to tuck the extra turn on the end. And they did do some excellent material. This lift, great air position, unusual dismount. But it just didn't have that cohesiveness no, that Isabel and Lloyd had. The end. There wasn't any emotion involved. We'll find out if that skate's good enough for a medal for Shishko, but now, Mob, when we return to the 93 Worlds in Prague. Virginia Shishkova, Betty Malmov, and their coach, Ludmila Velikova. What a tough act to follow, though, too. By four from the Australian judge. The first technical mark, the rest five sevens, and a five-eight from the Russian judge. So they'll be anxious to wait the second set here. Will it be enough for Russia to at least hang on to one medal? As you mentioned, Paul, they haven't been shut out since 1960. That's a remarkable record for them. And now the artistic marks, here they come. They've got a 5-9 from the Ukrainian judge, 5-5 five five from Australia, four second-place ordinals, two third-place ordinals, and they will be third behind Botsil Stoyer and the new world champions, Isabel Brasseur and Lloyd Eisler, who are standing by with Brian Williams. Canada's first Paris champion since 1984, Lloyd and Isabel, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, Lloyd. Thank you very much. We have talked under some difficult circumstances. I think at Albertville, Lloyd, I thought you were going to smash the desk if I asked you one more question. How did you summon the courage after what you've been through to perform like you did tonight? I think we just um, learned to know why we were skating, and we were just skating for fun. And I mean, there's a lot of things this year that happened that made us realize that we're lucky to be here and that we're lucky to skate, so we're just trying to enjoy it. You told me in Sports Weekend Studios a couple of months ago it was going to be a new Lloyd Eisler, more relaxed. How did you keep that up tonight? Uh, I have to thank Isabel. I think that she's really helped me this year being a lot more low-key and helping me realize that skating isn't everything. There's other things in life. And so it made it easier to compete and easier to skate, knowing that I can go out of the rink and I'm still going to be the same person. And uh, it took the things that happened this year maybe to think about that, but I'm very grateful and it paid off. Well, folks, history does repeat itself. It was 21 years ago in this building that Otto and Marie Jelinek won gold. Let me bring the champions from 62 and to congratulate the champions from 93. Otto and Maria. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. I'll tell you, Great. I'll tell you it was emotional 31 years ago, and it was just as emotional this time. I knew Prague was good for Canadian team 31 years ago, and I knew it. I felt it in my heart that the Prague was going to be good for our Canadian team this time. You made all of Canada very proud, and we thank you for it. I hope that you weren't as nervous as I was, because I was very nervous. I don't think so. You didn't look it. You well, were very, very calm. Listen, we got to go to the medal ceremonies the most nervous person is Lloyd Eisler Sr. from Seaforth, Ontario. He's as big as his son, his son standing on skates. What about the good luck uh, charm you've had this week? I put the gold band on before they skated. <laughs> it worked. Yeah, and uh, there's two people that aren't here tonight that I think have brought these, both these kids a long way, and that's Isabel's dad and Herb's mom. And I'd like to congratulate them. All right, thank you very much, Lloyd Eisler Sr., Otto and Marie Jelinek. And the new Canadian world champions, Isabel Brasseur, Lloyd Eisler, will be talking with you tomorrow night during our coverage. We'll have more of the medal ceremonies and the Canadian national anthem are coming up in just a minute. I know you want to get set. Anything you want to say to Canadian fans? Thank you for supporting us through all these years. Thank you. <laughs> all right, ceremony's coming up.